Cardano, the blockchain created back in 2015, aimed to address the challenges of scalability and energy efficiency in Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's built to be sustainable, interoperable, and scalable. The chain itself launched in 2017 and has become one of the biggest layer one players out there. Now let's answer the question, what is Cardano, starting with ADA? Cardano's native token is ADA and it's used to pay for transactions on the network. It's actually named after Ada Lovelace, who's a 19th century mathematician and the first computer programmer. The total supply of the token is 45 billion. Around 35 billion of those are in circulation right now. Any native token needs a good chain to run on. So what exactly does the tech behind the Cardano network look like? Cardano is split into two layers. The first is called the settlement layer, and it keeps track of all the account balances and how many tokens they have, including ADA. Basically, this layer is Cardano's decentralized ledger. Now, the second layer is called the computation layer, and it's where all the computation and calculations behind transfers happen. It's also where smart contracts run on the Cardano network. Now, by splitting up its network into two parts, Cardano allows people to continue transferring transferring tokens and settling payments, even as the computation layer is being upgraded. We've already seen several of these upgrades like the Alonzo hard fork that brought smart contract functionality to Cardano back in September of 2021. Smart contracts on Cardano use a programming language called Plutus. It's a functional programming language, which means it's fully based on functions that always stay the same and provide the same output given a certain input. So why is this important? important. Well, if you're writing a smart contract in Plutus, it's easier to test because it will always run the same. You're not writing code that can change state. And because of that, Plutus smart contracts are generally more bug free and less prone to weird hacks that happen because of loopholes in the code. That sounds exactly like what you would need if you're writing dApps that handle billions of dollars. Cardano achieves consensus with its own proof of stake consensus mechanism called Ouroboros. It allows people to earn rewards in two ways by helping secure Cardano either by running their own stake pool or by delegating their stake to an existing stake pool. It essentially works the same way as other proof of stake chains. If you don't have the resources to run your own validator, you can just delegate your stake to another validator to help secure the network and still earn rewards. Pro tip, you can easily stake your Cardano with Exodus. Now, there's a few things about staking with Cardano that make it different than other chains. First, there's no lockout period. When you stake, you're actually staking your Cardano address. All of the ADA tokens located at your address are considered staked, and with no lockout period, you're free to continue transacting with your tokens. And when it's time to distribute your rewards, a snapshot will be taken and your ADA balance at that time will be used to calculate your rewards. There's also no risk of slashing. Normal proof of stake change discourage malicious validators from messing with the chain by punishments through something called slashing. If a malicious validator tries to publish a fake block, part of their stake is slashed and lost forever. Cardano's consensus mechanism works without any punishment, so there's no risk of your stake being slashed. Instead of discouraging bad behavior through punishments, Cardano uses game theory and math-based models to ensure honest actors are rewarded properly, while dishonest ones gain nothing. Now that's pretty much a general overview of the tech behind Cardano. The thriving ecosystem that makes use of this tech began to form after Cardano added support for smart contracts. Since then, we've seen NFT projects launch on Cardano and the platform now has its fair share of DEXs, lending protocols, and other DeFi apps. The smart contract scene on Cardano is still new and the chain is under heavy development. Its future is mainly focused on two things, governance and scaling. The Cardano team is working on making the chain self-sustaining by introducing a decentralized voting and treasury system, which will leave control of Cardano in the hands of the community. Thanks for watching everyone. We've got a lot more videos for you, so just click any of these to keep watching. Until next time, hold along.